Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. May God bless you all. We are still on the issue of the IPOB leader Namdi Kanu versus Nigerian government. Since the IP court on the 13th of October 2022, you know, discharged and acquitted the IPOB leader, the Nigerian government. They never get peace again. AGF Malami said no. Inam the Kanu cannot be released. And the matter said, we get as it be. Since then, people have been talking. Ha! This matter get as it be. How can a whole AGF cannot explain a common law? In fact, this kind of law self went simple like this. You know, fee interpret them. You understand? You they go this side they go this side because they are just looking for a way you know to nail the ipop leader they are not satisfied with the judgment of our big court so agf abubakar malami is ready to go to any length to make sure that what they have in his mind eh he will he will surely you know carry carry it out but i don't think that will do anybody any good if the court have said this man is free why are you still holding him Nigerians have been talking now. It has been like a tug of war since that on the 13th of October till today. AJF Malami and Mala can I say Fulani, all of them, they just they talk here and there and all that. As if Nam the Kano, you know, is their is the problem of Nigeria. The matter just get a CV. Anyway, today. Um, eminent lawyers of the Southeast region, they have called President Muhammad Buhari again, you know, just like every other person have been calling the government to release Mazin Namdi Kanu. These lawyers of the Southeast region said the President Muhammad Buhari should initiate discussions with the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Namdi Kanu and others of the southeast on ensuring peace in the region they noted however that the ipop leader should be released first to them Kano's continued detention will not get the desired result being sought by the authorities the the legal team noted that the the judiciary had on occasions discharged and acquitted him due to the way he was brought into the country for trial chief mike ahamba and chief chus moma both senior advocates of nigeria and lagos based lawyer monde ubani all said the federal government would achieve nothing in the continued trial of namde kanu ahamba said the authorities might have been against kanu's release without commitment due to fears that he had the ability to raise a crowd in a short while for a fight should things go wrong. It is difficult for the federal, for the federal government to give Namde Kanu a blank check of freedom without a commitment from him who has the ability to raise a crowd at the shortest opportunity. So they cannot gamble to just leave him. This is the reality of the moment. Let them look at the whole thing and see what guarantee Kano, guarantee Kano can give them. I cannot see any other person in this country who can gather a very large crowd in a short while right now, Ahambar said. He also advised that why the government see the matter as a legal issue Kanu's group, including the people of the Southeast and their sympathizers, see it as political. He therefore called for coercion on both sides to arrive at a, an amicable solution that will bring enduring peace. The leader of Igbo Lawyers Association, Mamo, said the continued detention of the IPOB leader by the federal government despite court judgment that he be released was a disobedience to the rule of law and the order of judgment. Ma, 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 Ma 
maintaining that Kano had done no wrong by agitating for better condition for his people and so was being punished for the wrong cause. I see government refusal in releasing Nandi Kano as recklessness. The rule of law is not being observed by the federal government of Nigeria. If other people are reckless, the government will shout. They are now the part. They are now the party doing this. And it is so disrespectful in their disobedience to the order of the courts of appeal, Abuja, which asked the government to release him immediately and pay him costs. I don't like what is happening to that young man. You grab him from somewhere and then throw him into jail. The Lega Luminary said the Federal Ministry of Justice might have been occupied by men with questionable competency who, instead of giving good advice to the government on issues of law, had used their offices to become sacrifices. He posited that failure to let Kanu go portrays Nigeria as prayer state. Stressing that Nigeria as a country makes laws but has no regard for their fulfillment. Also, the former vice president of Nigeria Bar Association, NBA, Dr. Monde Ubani, advised Buari led administration to leave the lasting legacy of keep of going to the round table with Kano and the elders of the Southeast to find a peaceful solution to the matter. Speaking on a live television program, Ubani said, It was said and it was sad and disheartening that after speaking out openly that he would allow the courts to decide the matter, the president and his administration had revenge and refused to obey the order of the court, especially the court of appeal, Abuja. He noted that the appellate court had quashed the case and condemned the way the government flaunted known local and international laws by bonding Kano into Nigeria from a foreign country for trial. He said by the singular act the judgment was against the federal government and therefore should be added to. Oh my God. Sound mind speaking and not like of Malami, the Kota sister son, son who cannot read and understand the law of the land, the way it should interpret it, it should be interpreted, yet it was given a position bigger than him by the incompetent Muhammad Buhari, who has reduced Nigeria from top bottom. My little prob problem here is people referring to government of Nigeria as federal government and to that Buhari as President Buhari. Nigeria is never federal by ever in any way standard. And Buhari, who has been urinating and so called constitution with it. Okay, I cannot say this again. Oh my God. These are reactions by Nigerians. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.